It is a lie, pure and simple. Well, I heard it. Cliff down at the package store heard you say it. Half of Madrid County heard you say it. I never, never said it. Well, now look here, Wilbur. Yeah. I don't mind you saying it. I don't mind that. What I mind is you're saying that you didn't say it. Watch it. Listen, Harley. How could you hear me if I if, if I didn't say anything? Well, I don't know what you said, but I heard you say it. Well, I guess that about it. Finish. Easy, easy. Waste not, walk not. Just. Just what did I say? Well, how should I? You're the one who said it. You ought to know what you said. Well, if I said anything, then I can say what I said. Someone to get you and get a ride home. Rudy, find a buck for you at the station, okay? Rudy is terrible. Something off for Rudy. Rudy. Sure, sure, sure. Rudy. Harley, lean on me. Go ahead. You know, as long as I can remember, I've been picking Harley up out of one doorway or another. Yeah, and about all you ever got for it was a sore back. Ha! Easy. Easy. Ha! 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 I knew he'd get him sooner or later. Ha! 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 Wilbur! Come on, Harley. We'll get you a nice clean bed in the hospital. I want to know where Wilbur is. You better get some coffee on. You go to find Wilbur. And have Arlo check out their shack, will you? Yeah, we'll probably find him in another doorway. I'll check them out, too.
suppose you tell me what happened, huh? I was having a dream somebody was hitting me. Who? I don't know. I, I must look awful, smell worse. Come on, let's get some sleep, huh? Here we go. Oh, that's it. Sam? All these years, you never asked me how I got this way. I appreciate that. Oh, man's life is his own, Harley. He can do what he wants with it as long as he doesn't hurt anybody. Wish there was something I could blame it on, but there ain't. I weren't no surgeon. Started drinking because all them lives I lost on the operating table. Weren't no great writer. Couldn't write no more. Can't blame it on my wife dying. Leaving me empty and full of grief. Never was married. Come close to it once, though. So I guess the simple fact is I'm just a drunk, no more, no less. I'll see that you get a warm breakfast in the morning, okay? Uh, Sam? Yeah. Wilbur was in that dream. Kept calling for me. Calling for me to, to help him. We'll find him. How do we know there were going to be two people there? Come on. That's it. It's hot, sundown. I'm ready. Morning, Harley. Where's Sam? He's kind of busy. I wanted to ask him about Wilbur. Well, uh, he probably won't be too long. It's hot and it's black. Appreciate that. where he was. Rice Ackerman. What's he doing in Madrid? Well, how should I know? But he was there in the alley. Me and Wilbur seen him. What alley? By the hotel. Them other fellas was taking him out of a truck. Where'd you get it, Harley? It was. The bottle. You know you're not supposed to. Sam, I seen him. Just before them other fellas started uh, chasing me and Wilbur. That's how I got this. You don't believe me. If someone had struck a match to you last night, you'd lit up the whole county. Sam, what are you going to do? I'm going to ask him about Wilbur. Too many check-ins. Last night? Business party from L.A. Took 304. The best week we have. How many were there? Three. Three. Is this a picture of one of them? No. But uh, I only saw the man that registered. The others were unloading the bags and must have went up the back stairs. Now about what time was that? About three. Any reservations? What's it about, Sam? I'm not sure. Yes? This is Sheriff Cade. 
Yes, sir. Anything wrong? What is your name, please? William Courtney. And what is your occupation, Mr. Courtney? I'm chief counsel for Ackerman Industries. I don't understand, Sheriff. You know this man? Yes, of course. What's the trouble? Do you mind if I come in? This is Max Gold, our chief of security. Mr. Gold? May I see Mr. Ackerman? Not unless you're willing to go to Los Angeles. Oh. Well, now, you know, that's funny. I was told that he checked into this hotel last night. By whom? Well, some fella saw him in the alleyway out there. He made a mistake. Oh, I see. He did, huh? So, you know, uh, the uh, desk clerk told me that uh, there was three in your party. Our geologist is resting from the trip. We flew down in Mr. Ackerman's plane to look over a possible site for an industrial complex. Why all this interest in whether or not Mr. Ackerman is here? Well, a man called Wilbur is missing, and uh, my witness feels that Mr. Ackerman might know something about it, you see. Oh, that's ridiculous. Bryce Ackerman is in Los Angeles. Do you mind if I satisfy my curiosity? Not unless you satisfy mine first. I assume you have a search warrant. Oh, I didn't think I needed one. Why? Is the law different here in Madrid? Hmm. People around here are, are very cooperative. Well, most people are intimidated by a sheriff's badge. Oh, uh, by the way, were you planning this trip very long? Several months. Several months? Well, how come you landed at 3 o'clock in the morning? We ran into bad weather. Is that why you didn't make a reservation? expect him to be. Suffered a stroke, a cerebral accident. You seem to have left your bedside manner behind, Doctor. Why didn't you turn around when this thing happened? Why land in Madrid? Because you were here on a hunting trip and we wanted to consult you. There are hundreds of doctors in Los Angeles. There's only one doctor who knows this man's complete medical history. You wasted a lot of valuable time. Yours or his? You seem to be more interested in your vacation than in your patient. His vital signs have stabilized. But this man should be hospitalized. Is he still paralyzed? Right down to his toes. I don't see how this happened to him. He's only 38 years old. It's not right. It's not fair. Can he talk? No. Can he understand what we say? I think so. Bryce? Do you know who I am? Blink your eyes once for yes and twice for no. Good. Can he be moved? I'll arrange for an ambulance. No, not yet. Bill, for the love of... An ambulance for Bryce Ackerman means publicity. What difference does that make? I don't think you understand. Bryce was on his way to Boston to negotiate a loan. He's almost bankrupt. Well, you're his lawyer. You negotiate the loan. Let me treat my patient. That's Ackerman Industries lying there in that bed. The rest of us here are just high-priced window dressing. If anything happens to him, the whole pyramid comes crashing down. Well, look again, Bill. Something has happened to him. Something very serious. As long as nobody else knows about it, we can still negotiate the loan. You intend to keep him in this room the rest of his life? No. I just need 48 hours. And I need a good, plausible reason why Bryce is sending me to Boston instead of him going himself. Well, you may save his company, but you'll wind up costing him his life. No, I've taken care of that now. You're going to fly to a small airport outside Santa Barbara. He'll be put into a private hospital under another name. We're almost home free. 
Yeah. Unit three to Madrid Central. Madrid Central, go ahead, three. Yeah, sundown. You can tell Sam we can stop looking for Wilbur. Just found him down at the bottom of Crescent Ravine. About as dead as you can get. Good one is finished. Otto used to be a carpenter. Left school when I was 12 to be an apprentice. Weren't bad at it, neither. Of course, I wasn't old. Cabinet maker, nothing like that. Just a hammer and nails carpenter. Well, what made you quit? Well, I like to take a drink now and then. Finally, I was drinking more now than then. So, lost a few jobs. My hands were shaking so bad I couldn't hit a nail with a sledgehammer. So, gave up working and went on drinking. He's dead, ain't he? Crescent Ravine. Me and Wilbur have been together for a long time. Shared the good and the bad that we shared. That's the way it is with friends. I don't care much for the way I turned out, but one thing I had most people give an awful lot for, and that was a friend. A real friend. That's for sure. Wilbur knew every inch of this county. Cold, sober, blind drunk. And he never had no reason to go near Crescent Ravine. And if that's true, we'll find whoever's responsible. We just got word from the coroner. And preliminary or final findings? Final. That's his report. And what was the cause of death? Irreversible brain damage caused by a blow to the head with a heavy object. It's on page two. It could be from a fall. He was dead before he hit the ravine. Did you lose something? You're doing a little sightseeing, huh? You were the Chamber of Commerce, too? Stuff here is found out near Crescent Ravine. So, we rented this van yesterday. Why don't you check on the people who had it before us? I don't know why anybody would want to go out there anyway. Ain't nothing out there but a big old hole in the ground, a lot of rocks. Well, I'll stay away from it then. That's good, because the sheriff wants you to do your sightseeing in Madrid for a while. Is that an order? Mm -mm. Request. For now. Pin down, Sam. I didn't know you were looking for me. I just got a call from Bill Courtney. He's I know the attorney him. for Ackerman but Enterprise. We've met. I know. That's I... why he called. 
What does he want to see the district attorney for? Well, he says you've been harassing his people. Look, I'm investigating a murder, Jack. Sam, they're businessmen. Well, businessmen commit murder, too, haven't you heard? What have you come up with? Well, the van they rented is covered with the same white dust that was found in the ravine where Wilbur's body was dumped. That dust can be found in hundreds of places around here. You're going to need more than that for a search warrant. We'll find her. Why would they want to kill some old bum? Wilbur. His name was Wilbur. All right, Wilbur. Well, it's something to do with Bryce Ackerman. According to Courtney, he's still in Los Angeles. According to Harley, Bryce Ackerman is right here in Madrid. Harley? Harley couldn't identify himself if he were the only one in the room. Oh, if I come up with Bryce Ackerman, he'll identify him for us. And how do you propose to do that? Search the hotel. Sam, there's a little thing called the proprietary rights of hotel guests. You have to search a specific room for a specific reason. Now, exactly what are you looking for? I told you, Bryce Ackerman. All right. For the sake of argument, let's say Ackerman is in the hotel. Now, what does that prove? It'll prove that Harley was right. He wasn't lying. He was telling the truth about what he saw in the alley. You have no motive, no physical evidence of any consequence, and a witness who divides his time between the drunk tank and the alcoholic ward. Uh, what you're saying is that we should just sort of accept Wilbur's death because he was a worthless old drunk and nobody would miss anyhow. Huh? No. Well, you're saying something. Yes, I said something. What I'm trying to... Listen. If I were you, I'd look a little closer to home. You know, nine out of ten murders are committed by friends or relatives, someone the victim knew. Harley? Two old friends argue over the last swallow in a jug. One old friend gets mad and clobbers the other one with the nearest thing he can find. Happens every day. Makes more sense than what you've been handing me. I'm not trying to hand you anything yet. As soon as I have something definite, your office will be the first to know. Yeah, well, you better make sure you do it in a hurry. Because if they want to leave Madrid, there's no way we can stop them. How much do they run? Plenty. You on duty when they landed, Joe? Yeah, they said they had engine trouble. Said? I wish I was as healthy as those two engines. I've been over both of them twice. I can't find anything wrong. Well, did you check the people who got off? Yeah, they went over there. They rented a car and a van. Yeah, what did they need the van for? Uh, they said they had some file cabinets they wanted to take down to the hotel. But they backed the van right up the plane, so I couldn't see what they took out. Did you get their flight plan from L.A. for me? Uh, yeah, they're... On their way to Boston. There's a passenger list there, too. Now, here's a coincidence. One of the passengers they have listed is Bryce Ackerman. Seems your pressure didn't work, Mr. Courtney. Well, I'll have to apply more. Well, I think you're avoiding the main problem. And what would that be? The sheriff's witness. What Adam was Kate got. Never mind, operator. You leave that old man alone, Galt. That old man's a drunk, and drunks disappear for days on end. Unless, of course, you can secure this loan from this hotel room. No, I can't. Well, then I'm simply trying to buy you the time you need. What happens afterwards? Once you secure the loan, it doesn't really matter what he says. The man's disappearance will just cause more questions. That can be handled. The same way you handled the other old man? That was an accident. He's still dead. And we're both responsible. Isn't that what the law says, Mr. Courtney? There's just no turning back, is there? Why don't you face it? Don't put me in the same dirty bag as you, Galt. Look, I understand your feelings, but without that loan, everything goes down the drain, including us. Then let it. Should that be your decision? Bryce, are you aware of the problem? If the news of your illness gets out, there won't be any loan. 
and Ackerman Industries will go under. Almost 8,000 people depend on it, Mr. Ackerman. Is it fair to them, not to mention the stockholders, to allow one man to destroy everything? Shall we buy the man, Silence? Mr. Ackerman, if that doesn't work, what do we do? He can only answer yes or no. Mr. Ackerman, if we can't buy this man's silence, should we find another way to keep him quiet? us peace, strength for our battle while it lasts, and rest at the close of day when our work is done. And in the resurrection morn, when all souls rise and stand before thee, give us the meetings we yearn for, the vision of the faces we may not now behold forever here. Keep us who remain under the shadow of thy grace, and watch the sleeping place of our loved ones till over the hills of time the angel of thy glory comes again. Amen. Let us pray. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Amen. I'm sorry I couldn't make it more personal. Sounded just fine, Reverend. My condolences. Thanks for the flower, Sam. You come up with anything? Nothing I can prove. I know how most people feel about Wilbur and me. They just soon I dug a hole and crawled in beside him. Then we wouldn't embarrass him no more. on me, are you, Sam? I've just started, Harley. Harley? You here to take another shot at me? Oh, there seems to be some misunderstanding. Is that what you call this? No locks on the doors. Most pests around here don't have strength enough to push them open. You told the sheriff you saw Bryce Ackerman. Well, uh, that's impossible because you see Mr. Ackerman's in Los Angeles. Then, uh, who was you fellas taking out of the truck? We were unloading baggage. It looked like dead weight to me. Oh, it's dark. You were a little bit under the weather. I was blind, stinking drunk, but I still seen him. Harley, that's, uh, that's Irish, isn't it? Could be. Well, then you know the value of a good old-fashioned Irish wake. Cork it. I'm a drunk, not an alcoholic. What's the difference? I like it. I don't need it. Oh. I pick the times I drink and the people I drink with. How was the funeral? Private. Would a thousand dollars help a little? It'd help a lot. You were mistaken about seeing Mr. Ackerman, weren't you? That's a pretty expensive mistake. A thousand dollars would buy a very nice headstone for your friend and still leave enough left over to help you forget your grief. And all I got to do is tell Sam Kate I was wrong. Simple. This is simple, too.
Wilbur was dirt, just like me. But he was a human being. And you gotta pay for what you've done to him. I wish there was some way I could convince you we had nothing to do with your friend's death. I saw what I saw. Nothing can change that. Wilbur was my friend. And I'm gonna see that he... before I come in here. Yeah, well, I'm not here by choice, Sam. My phone's been ringing all afternoon. Courtney? Among others, including the Attorney General and the Lieutenant Governor. They're concerned with the way you're handling yeah, this investigation. Just a minute. You know, I'm concerned, too. Yeah, I'm concerned about finding the killer of Wilbur. You have any fresh evidence? No, not yet. You know, you're pushing the wrong people, Sam. Because they've got the strength to push back. Those phone calls are only the beginning. Yeah. It always comes down to that, doesn't it? They're more important than Wilbur, so... Hands off, right? You give me one piece of solid evidence, and you can arrest every one of them. I need more time. Your time's run out. I want you to remove your men from surveillance, Sam. Now, wait a minute. That's the only leverage I have. Unless I can keep surveillance on that place, they're going to sneak that guy out of town. You're reeling in an empty line, Sam. Ackerman's in Los Angeles. I spoke to him myself. He apologized for all the confusion, said he intended to make the trip. That's why his name's on that passenger list there. But some last-minute business came up. Did you ever speak to him before? No. All right, then you could have been talking to the janitor for all you knew. I don't think so. You really think he is in Los Angeles, right? Yes, I do. Now, pull your surveillance. <sighs> Lieutenant Gifford, please. Who's Lieutenant Gifford? Well, he's an acquaintance of mine, L.A. Police Department. Giff, this is Sam Cade. <laughs> no, I, I wish I could say everything was fine, but that's the reason I'm calling. I have a suspected kidnapping on my hands. Bryce Ackerman. Sam! A suspected kidnapper stays in Los Angeles, but I have a witness who uh, saw him here in Madrid. Sam, you're going to get us both... Right. That's right. Now, unless immediate action is taken, I believe his life is in danger. So will you check it out on your end for me? No, no, sooner than that, Giff. My time's run out. Kidnapped. When Harley saw him, he was either unconscious, drugged, or dead. You don't seriously believe they kidnapped him, do you? Don't I? No. <laughs> you know, everybody's trying to tell me that Bryce Ackerman is in Los Angeles. You, Courtney, the guy you talked to on the phone. Well, you see, I just want to be sure myself, right? <laughs> What about Harley? Without Harley, we have no case. I'm sorry it's so cramped. But this trip you're going, tourist, all the way.
thought you were Harley. And what did you want with Harley, Mr. Gov? Well, it seems that he's the cause of all this confusion, so I, uh, I, I mean, about Mr. Ackerman being here in Madrid, and I just thought I'd stop by to convince him he was wrong. I see. And just how are you going to do that, Mr. Gove? Well, by letting him speak to Mr. Ackerman. Are you in Los Angeles? That's right. Looks like he, uh, went off the deep end, though. Well, how about that? I always thought Harley drank nothing but wine. Well, somebody finished off that bottle. There's not enough left in there to wet a postage stamp. Yeah. Where is he? You got me. Galt? You know, my whole department will be looking for him. When you find him, let me know. I will. you were concerned about. How much did it cost? No sale. What are you going to do with it? Ship it air freight. It'll probably get dumped somewhere along the way. Well, give us 20 minutes. Take your time. It's not going anywhere. come in for? I've checked all the bars along the highway, but no one's seen Harley. Oh, Rudy, the sheriff wants you to work your way back to Madrid. 10-4. Oh, Sheriff, Rudy just called in. Yeah? Nothing. Want a cup of coffee? No, I don't think so. Cade. Hello, Sheriff. This is Joe Willis out at the airport. Yeah, Joe. Uh, I just got orders to get that Ackerman plane ready for takeoff. I thought maybe you'd like to know. How soon? 20 minutes. I stall as long as you can. That won't be easy. That pilot knows his way around. Well, try. It's important. Okay. They're leaving at 4 o'clock. Oh, perfect. First, no witness. Now, no suspects. Oh, the van's on its way to the airport, probably using Highway 32. You want me to stop it? Not unless it's speeding. Sam, that's only going to get you in deeper. Well, if they leave, I'll be in over my head, won't I? Thank you. 
please? What's the trouble, officer? Speeding. Speeding? I wasn't doing anywhere near 70 miles an hour. You plead not guilty. Well, I'm sure if you say I was speeding, I was speeding. You wouldn't have any reason to lie, would you, officer? Would you take it out of the wallet, please? Thank you. You leaving town? That's right. Well, I hope you don't miss your plane because of this. Well, that's one of the advantages of having your own plane. They can't leave without you. Now what? Oh, I'm just checking the flaps. You've been over this thing so many times, but one would think you're going to buy it. Well, you wouldn't want to have another emergency landing, would you? Not much chance of that. Finish. What are you doing now? I don't care how many vice presidents say he's in conference. Unless you're eyeball to eyeball with Bryce Ackerman, I still have a suspected kidnapping. I'll hold. Where is he? Ackerman's office. They say he's in conference and can't be disturbed. Well, what's he gonna do? Disturb him. Thanks, Giff. I owe you one. Well, that must be a very exclusive conference. There's nobody in Ackerman's office. I'll get the warrant, Sam. Sheriff? Yeah? Arlo's calling in. Go ahead, Arlo. Couldn't hold him any longer, Sam. That's all right. Just stick with that van and let them know it. 10-4. I call the airport. Tell them to hold Ackerman's plane. time that we're in this area, why, I'll be back to see you. Thanks for checking us out, Joe.
his statement. Well, he had a lot to say. Yeah, he went through two stenographers and a bottle of tranquilizers. If you won't say I told you so, Sam, I won't say anything about Arlo. <laughs> you know something? Arlo's already written himself a ticket for reckless driving. <laughs> Oh, you'll be around to testify, won't you, Harley? Couldn't keep me away. See you in court. I got so many lumps, I feel like an old sofa. Just want to thank you for what you've done for me and Wilbur. Huh. What are your plans? Well, I guess I'll go back to work long enough to get enough money to buy a proper headstone for Wilbur. Well, who knows? You may get to like working again. Yeah, you just might. Thanks, Sam. Take care. <laughs>